So I've recently been getting a ton of questions from you guys on my Instagram account about how do I create my Instagram Reels split screens and how do I make the quality so good on Instagram. So in this video, I'm gonna break it all down for you and show you my step-by-step -step process. Let's go. Now, in order to make the split screen, you're going to need your own footage. Now, the footage that I'm using here, I'm using from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. And the reason for that is you don't need all your own footage in order to make Instagram Reels. You can literally just go onto Envato Elements and just download any number of the hundreds of thousands of stock videos that they already have on their site. Now, Envato Elements is something that I've personally been using now for quite a while. And the thing I love most about them is once you find a clip, so even if I find a clip here, and I've got a theme, then I can basically find similar looking stock video clips to that. So if I wanna create a theme of a beach or something, I could literally just search for beach in Envato Elements. It's gonna basically give me all of these different stock videos that work around that same theme. So this is great for when you're picking your clips or even if you're using your own footage, you can basically just throw in one or two of these clips if you need a wide shot of say a beach landscape or something just to kind of tie your whole video together. Now these are the three clips that I've just picked out here. And the thing I'm looking for when I'm picking my clips is you wanna basically firstly create a bit of a theme. And then you also wanna tie in shots with people in it mixed in with a few wide landscapes. So the best ones that I've done, which you can see here on screen, is I've got close-ups of people mixed in with wide landscape shots. And this is gonna be the best way to create impact in your Instagram Reels. The other great thing about Envato Elements is it's a low monthly subscription fee and you get unlimited downloads. And if you use the special link down below, that'll give you 50% off an annual subscription. And you can also get a seven day free trial. So you can download all of these clips for free for the next seven days while you're on the trial. And as an added bonus to your subscription, you're not only gonna be able to download stock videos, but you can download video templates, music, sound effects. There are over 5 million assets that you can download as part of your subscription. And you can use that special link down in the description below. So what I've got here is I'm just gonna basically create a new composition. Now the composition I want to set up as my split screen, and this one's going to be a three split screen. Now the width I need to set to be 1080 and the height is going to be 1920. So that's gonna be vertical video. The frame rate I wanna to set to be whatever the footage is that I've downloaded. And then I can just set the duration to be about five seconds and that's gonna create this three split screen window here. Now from here, what I can do is just drag in my first clip here and I can just hit S and scale this down until it roughly fills the side of the screen. Now for getting the positioning right or the split screen, what I can do is I can come up to view and then down to show rulers. And this is gonna bring up the ruler here. Now if I drag down from the top, it creates this little blue marker. I can right click on that and I can basically set the position. So if you're doing a three split screen, you wanna set this to be 640, or for the first little bit. And then for the second one, we can set this to be double that. So that'll essentially be 1,280. So that creates basically the guidelines of where you wanna create that split. Now, if you're doing a, a four split screen, then you want to use basically 480, and then you'll double that and then triple that to get the line markers. Now, once I've got that clip, I can use this as a guide to basically snap to that. And I want this one to basically be in the middle. So I'm gonna drop that to the bottom and I hit S, I just scale this down. And then I'll bring in my third clip here, which I'll drag on top of that. So this is a little trick here to basically get everything to line up. I wanna scale this down. If I move this one down to the bottom and just scale it up slightly, I can get that. Now the, with the one in the middle, I can scale this up and down. I don't have to crop it to basically get it to sit, you know, at the right height or position in the middle. Now, if you needed to basically recenter that position, you could use the crop tool, but you could also just use a simple mask. So I could just sort of simply draw out a mask like this 
I could bring it down like that and then just scale it up to be whatever I needed. So once you've got all those video clips lined up, you can reposition the actual timing of your clip so you can bring one in or after. So we kind of line all our clips up really nicely. I find that the best way to do this is to have wider shots on the top and the bottom and then in the middle have like a close up of someone or some sort of action in it. You don't just want all landscape wide shots. Now the next part then is you want to then add your color gray and we're also gonna add another little thing that I do when, before I export my videos. So what I do is I just right click and add a new adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer, we're going to add something special just to kind of bring it together at the end. But before I do that, I wanna just add a color grade over the top. So what I can do is if I just bring up my Lumetri color, I can just add that to one of my clips. Now for the look, what I can do is add a LUT, which sits over the top. Now the LUTs that I'm using here are the LUTs that I've made, and you can download these for free. There's a link in the description below to download my free LUT pack, and you'll get access to these free LUTs. And basically there's a video that'll walk you through how to use these LUTs and how to add them to your footage. But basically you can just add them on here and you can scale this up and down. And also just like to add a little bit of contrast. Now I don't add saturation at this point. Once I've got one, I just basically take it to my next clip, whichever I wanna add and just basically paste that in on the top. And for the last one, what I'm going to do is just reset this and I want to add a different LUT. So here I'm going to use my bright cherry, add that on top and kind of scale this up and it really kind of makes this pop in the colors. Now you can just drag down the saturation if you want, if it's too saturated. But what we can do is on the adjustment layer, this is where I like to add another Lumetri color. And then I like to basically just come in here and adjust the saturation overall. So if you want it less saturated, you can just drag this down. But here's a little tip. When you export this and upload it onto Instagram, the colors actually wash out very slightly. So what it looks like in the program is not what it's gonna look like when you upload it. So what I like to do is if you like where the colors are at in the program, then add a little bit more saturation on the top. And I'm not talking very much maybe like 105. And then when you export that and upload it on Instagram, it'll actually slightly desaturate. So that's just a quick tip there you can add if you wanna add or lessen the effect of the saturation. And the last thing that I like to add, I like to add the unsharpened mask. And what I do is I add just a little bit of this, maybe around 70, and I increase the radius to about two. Now the sharpness will depend on the footage that you're using, but this is a really important step in order to get that the right amount of sharpness in your clip. I find that unsharpened mask works really well and it just adds that little bit of sharpness when you're exporting and really makes the reel stand out. One other thing you can do is also just add a little bit of S-curve just to give it a little bit of contrast and overall before and after that looks pretty good. You can just adjust your colors, as I said, depending on what you want, but overall that looks pretty good. Now, once you've got that and you're ready to export, this is where we basically come up here and we can add to the media encoder render queue. So you can choose where you want to save that file. I'm leaving this as H.264, then I can click on this and this will allow me then to change the settings in here. Now what I like to do is I like to come in here and, and not touch any of these video settings because that's gonna match exactly what I want. I can hit render at maximum depth. And then when I come down to the bitrate settings, I wanna change this to be two pass. And for the target bitrate, I'm gonna set this to be about 25 and I wanna set this to be 30. Now the reason is that is a lot higher than what Instagram recommends, but Instagram is gonna compress your video a lot. So if you're filming in 4K and then you're compressing that video already, I find that you wanna basically export in a higher bitrate. And I found that in my testing and uploading on the, to Instagram, that by the time they compress it again, it tends to be pretty good at these settings. So I set that to be 30 and then this one to be 25 two pass and then use the maximum render depth. And that's all you need to do. Basically from this point, you can just export that file and save it to wherever you need it to be. 
Now, once you've got that file, you'll need to get it onto your phone. Now, if you're using an iPhone, then the best way to do that is using AirDrop because you won't lose any quality. You don't want to email the file or do anything like that that's gonna compress that file. You want to go and basically send the raw file to your phone. You don't wanna compress it in any way. Now, if you're using an Android phone, there'll be different ways on, online on how you can do that. Now, I'll also show you, once you're on Instagram here, what you want to do is then come over here to the top right and you want to go down to your settings. And then you want to come down here to where it says data usage and you want to select that. And you'll see a little button that says high quality uploads. You wanna turn that on. And that's basically just going to make those videos a little bit better quality than just uploading through the normal means. By default, this is turned off, and I'm not sure exactly why they're doing this, but that's what you need to do. If you turn that on, that will help with upping the quality of your Instagram Reels. Now, if you're uploading just normal videos to Instagram or you're uploading photos, then I also have a video which I'll put in the description below, and that shows you the best way in order to upload that to Instagram without losing any quality. Now, that goes through a different process using the Facebook Studio, and you have to change your Instagram account to be a business one and all of this is free to do, you just have to follow the steps in that video and that'll give you the optimal quality for uploading photos and just normal videos onto Instagram. But if you're using Instagram Reels and you wanna follow along with this video. So that's it for this video. Now, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you love this video, then maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss out on more videos just like this. You can watch more videos over here on the side of screen. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.